All right, I'm just gonna say it. When it's all said and done, MP will be the GOAT. Unequivocally. Unequivocally? Unequivocally! Well, first of all, did you just look that word up? Because I have never heard you use that word in my life. <laughs> I like to learn, so what? Yeah, okay, fine, but you can't say that if the guy's career has just started. I mean, yo, he's gonna be awesome. He's incredible, but he, and he might average 50 points a game, True. but what if he gets hurt? Oh, see, man, now you're just trying to jinx him. I see what you're doing. I'm just saying longevity is part of this conversation. I can agree with you there. Sure. All right, to be the GOAT, you gotta do it over a long period of time. Facts. I get that MP's your guy, and he's amazing, no doubt, but saying that he is a lot? Unequivocally. That's ridiculous. No, it's unequivocal, it's man. Ridiculous. No, it's ridiculous. It's unequivocal. Unequivocal. Go. What does it mean? It means without a doubt. MP's first game, I mean, it was good. It was just one game. That's a legendary first game. You feel me? Legendary. Heck of a game, but it's not surprising if you've been watching MP these past few years. You know, I can't think of anybody over the last 20 years or so who have had as much pressure as MP. Um, you know, I'm not ready to crown him just yet, but what he did, what he did today, man, that's something that you see that is so special that even Michael Jordan and, and LeBron James didn't even do. You know, it's early, it's early, but right now, man, He's living up to the hype. His, his hype is, is, uh, is bigger than you would want to put on one person, but right now he looks like he can live up to the hype. <laughs> that was a special first game from a uh, special talent. Hey, better than LeBron, if you heard that right. Man, didn't even recognize you got that massive hype machine was training behind you. I'm waiting until after the game to fire it up, that's why. Man, how about you wait until the next week? And I don't have to feel bad for what's about to happen out here. All right, okay, okay. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see what you got. All right, yes, sir. Well, Grant, for them, this is game two of a back-to-back. -back. Does that schedule wear you out as a player? You know, at times, the schedule can be tough. But sometimes it also works in your favor because you can maintain a good rhythm game to game. And now Indiana's starting group. Halliburton at point with Matherin by his side. Miles Turner out there with Walker. And it's Heal in at the three spot. So much has been made about MP joining this team, Grant. But if you talk to him, he knows it all comes down to winning. And that's the mentality he needs to have. Everyone wants him to win and win fast. But ultimately, players like MP are judged by how many rings they collect. MP. Here's Mitchell. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. What determination from Mitchell. So good at overcoming these types of challenges. Pass to Turner. Heeled with the ball. And he drives in. Comes up empty down low. And pushing it up. Here's Cleveland. The three from Mitchell. Sends it home from three-point land. Mitchell's got five now. There's that floor awareness on display. MP feeling the overcommitment and then whipping that pass to the open teammate. Now here's Halliburton. Pass to Heal from the arc. And he's missed his first two shots of the game. Garland, the pass to MP. MP, a screen on Matherin. Back to Mitchell. Now MP. Matherin with some nice D. Outside heel. And around two minutes played here in the first quarter. Mitchell against Matherin. Five on the clock. Pass to Turner. This one for three. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. And this matchup with the Pacers, their first meeting of the season. Last year, as expected, they had very little trouble against these guys. Yeah, you know, these are two teams clearly on opposite ends of the continuum in this conference. I mean, this is a team they rightly feel they can beat every time they take the court with. For Indiana, they've gone one of four to begin this one. Well, Grant, there's one thing Mitchell will always be remembered for by Cavs fans. Oh, so true, B.A. I mean, 71 points in a game in the 2022-23 season, setting a Cleveland franchise record. And for a franchise that has had so many great players, including the likes of LeBron James.
Now here's Garland. 17 points in his last outing. It's another three for Cleveland. Matching the triple from the other end. Garland is game. And here's Matherin. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. Four-point game. They defeated Washington in their last game. Oh, man, they were in total control. Really doing anything they wanted. <laughs> it was that level of dominance. And, you know, everything seemed to just kind of flow naturally for them. Felt like they were in a groove from the opening tip. Now here's Turner. Playing Washington, he was nearly unstoppable. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Here's MP. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. Pass to Walker. Halliburton on the wing. Checked by Mitchell. Turner, a screen on Mitchell to the middle. Oh, MP with a block. Emphatic defense from MP. That'll fire up the bench for sure. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. Here's MP, and Turner with the block. He's been off this whole period. Unable to sustain any kind of consistency. Halliburton looking for an opening. Pass to Matherin. To the paint. Here's Walker, and the jam by Walker. Nice slam by the big man, Walker. Making his presence felt there inside. MP with it. Halliburton picks him up. MP outside. Okoro on the wing. The three ball. Cleveland gets it back. Indiana has gone two of five from deep. Pass to Matherin. Here's Turner. Back to Matherin. Turner, a screen on Mitchell. Matherin against Mitchell. Oh, MP with a block. Outside Mitchell. Fires the three. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. For Indiana, they've gone four of ten shooting the rock in this first quarter. Mitchell against Matherin. Turner, a screen on Mitchell. Here's Halliburton. MP with the block. Down low to win the draft. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, watch out. Oh. Big finish. And talk about doing it with style. I know his team loves to see MP flex like this. Outside heel. There's a screen by Turner. Heel passes to Turner. Outside for Halliburton. Shot clock at six. Pass to heel. Fires from deep. The rebound by MP. MP's got his fourth rebound in this one. Okoro passes to MP. Oh, stolen by Turner. Now here's Matherin. Inside. Fires it. And Halliburton with the basket. And the assist by Matherin. Halliburton's got five points. Halliburton's length, really an asset on that play. One thing about the Pacers, Clark, year in, year out, they compete. And you know, it doesn't matter who's on the roster. They can and will outwork most teams. Even the best teams can't afford a letdown against the Pacers. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. Yeah, but he was late to get there, so the referee couldn't give him a free pass on that one. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Struce has checked in. Brown, he's checked in for Indiana. Now here's Brown. And he also played a big role in their last game with Washington. Turner finds heel. Outside Matherin. Turner, a screen on Struce. Matherin passes to Turner. Oh, ho! MP with a block. To the inside. Timeout called the Cavaliers. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game. Cavaliers, 
10 since we have a moment. Here are last year's most efficient scorers around the league. Fifth, Jared Allen. So consistent from the floor. He shot it at a great clip last season. Mitchell against Brown. MP, the flush. MP just throwing that thing down. Getting aggressive and attacking the rack. They've got Max Struess. Ricky Rubio is out there with Donovan Mitchell. And then it's MP, and it's Allen in at the center position. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Toppin passes to Halliburton. Over Rubio. Halliburton misses. Cleveland has gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Pass to Rubio. Out of bounds. It'll be Pacers ball. Here's a look at what's coming up for the Indiana Pacers. On Monday, they'll be matching up against DeMar DeRozan and the Chicago Bulls. Then on Wednesday, they'll take on Kristaps Porzingis and the Boston Celtics. Down low. It's stolen by MP. Rubio looking around. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Nice job playmaking by Rubio there. The moment he sees the wide open man, the pass is sent his way. Pass to Brown. It's Walker on the wing. He takes the three. The Pacers again can't hit. The Cavaliers have gone four for seven in the second quarter. MP, a screen on Halliburton. From 11 feet away, MP. And MP throws it down. Yeah, when Rubio's in there, he's looking to do one thing on the offensive end. He's kind of an Allen wrench. He wants to simply facilitate. Toppin, a screen on Rubio. Toppin outside for three. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Halliburton's got his fifth assist in this one. The Cavaliers have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Mitchell, the pass to MP. Oh, look at MP doing his thing down there. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive, and it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Walker for three. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got six rebounds here tonight. To the middle. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Well, there's no denying MP has put in countless hours in the gym. And this type of performance serves as a testament to his work ethic. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. And that's why they're ahead. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And Grant, these days, more and more teams emphasize the importance of switch defense. It's so true in the modern NBA, B.A. Every team has to be able to switch to take away a lot of the action of the offensive team. So having defenders who can guard multiple players on the court is a must. Miles Turner, he's checked in for Indiana. Here's Matherin. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Persistence pays. Matherin sticking with it, and he'll have a chance to add another at the line. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. Yeah, I love the energy and aggressiveness I've seen from them on defense. They're really getting after it with all these blocks. But how about their scoring in transition as well? That's been a big factor to this point. Are those high tops or track shoes these guys are wearing? My goodness. To the paint. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Brown's got his fourth assist with that last one. Pass to Okoro. The three. Offensive rebound. Here's MP. Misses the layup. Indiana trailing here. Here's Turner. Halliburton with the ball. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against Washington. Also, his ability to push the action and get to the line made a huge difference. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Pacers. And they were one of the best shooting teams in the league. They wound up in the top five in field goal percentage. That's the kind of efficiency every coach wants to see. Their defense was off the charts. They frustrated opponents, and no one could score on them. Heels checked in for Tyrese Halliburton. Outside heel. Here's the three. Gets the three ball to go. 
Heald's got nine points. It's really that simple for Heald. His shot so dialed in and on target. Garland, the pass to MP. Oh, no good! Unable to end this run. Pass to Turner. And here's Heald. Outside, Brown. Back to Heald. 16 feet out. The rebound by MP. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor. But his teammates have picked up the slack. And able to impact the game at both ends is Miles Turner-Clark. You know, I like the fact that he's dangerous on offense. But more importantly, he's led the league multiple seasons in block shots. And he does not take time off at the defensive end of the floor. Struess, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. The Cavaliers have gotten seven shots out of 14 attempts in the second quarter. MP, the pass to Mobley. Garland with the ball. Back to Struess. Beyond the arc. Rebounded by Heald. Indiana leading. Pass to Brown. Now here's Turner. Let's it go from deep. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got his fifth rebound in this one. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Listen, Indiana is not a free agent hotspot, but you asked Tyrese Halliburton, it's a great place to play. He said, quote, Midwest nice is a real thing. The genuineness of the people, the way they act. I really value people waving as you walk by or smiling. That matters to me. That small town feel, that Midwest feel. Brian? Yeah, he seems right at home, Allie. Thank you. MP, a screen on Brown. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Here's MP. MP getting it done inside. Heating up in the second quarter. He looks locked and loaded. Outside Walker. Inside. Here's Turner. Good. And it's Walker who picks up the assist. Walker. Turner's got four points in the quarter. <laughs> I just love the ball move. MP finds Garland. Down low. One fifty-two left in the first half. No good that time. Brown with some nice D. Indiana on offense. They're on a 14-4 run. To the inside. Turner. And then Turner with the dunk. What athleticism from Turner. My goodness. He loves getting chances to throw it down like that. Garland, the pass to MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Brown passes to Matherin. Here's Turner. There's the three. And it's MP with a rebound. MP's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Outside Struess. To the middle. MP is doubled. Pass to Okoro. The three is up. Struess's shot is off. And here's Matherin. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Following this one, they get to host the Bulls. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. Healed on the wing. Just five to shoot, and there's a pick. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. MP's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. To the paint. Oh, and the dunk by MP. Yeah, great vision. I mean, this is where Garland takes it to another level offensively. Pass to heel. Launches it. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Garland, the pass to MP. Mobley outside. Here's Struess. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. And now a three-point Cavalier lead. 
That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. And so it's MP making things happen for the Cleveland Cavaliers. He had solid production this quarter with scoring and rebounding. We'll be right back. Hello everyone and welcome. Tonight's featured game sees the Cleveland Cavaliers in a tight one. Zach, this reminds me of our day. They're not just hoisting up a thousand threes, they're dumping the ball inside to the paint and then going up strong. I love it. Me too, Kenny. I hope they win like this. I really do. And moving along now, let's take a look at some upcoming matchups. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Hey, you look at MP in this game. He's been everywhere. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And the Pacers looking at who they've got. Halliburton at point with Matherin by his side. Walker out there with Buddy Heald. And it's Turner in at center, filling out the middle. Garland for three. Matherin with a rebound. Well, the Pacers shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. Pass to Walker. And the foul called on Evan Mobley. That's his first foul of the game. Here's Heel. Outside Walker. Mitchell against Matherin. We talk so much about Mitchell's offense, but he can be a lockdown defender as well. Mitchell down low! And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Halliburton against Garland. Six to shoot, and here's Turner from the arc. And it's out of bounds to Indiana. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Those kinds of plays are the ones that get you on the lead and help keep you in front. Three on the clock. Shot from 16, and Halliburton with the basket, and the assist by Walker. Halliburton's got nine. I mean, just so alert with his head on a swivel. Walker able to find the open man. Here's the break. Here's Halliburton. Look at Halliburton converting through contact. A sharp steal and some quick offense cuts it down to a one-possession game. Well done. Back to MP. Pass to Garland. MP with it. Turner covers. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And it's the 2K leaderboard. Team leaders in blocks last season. Second, the Pacers. We've got a number of guys that can deny you when you take that ball inside. That's why they're one of the best shot blocking teams in the league. At least they were last year. Because they worked well together and they made it a priority. To the middle. Here's Turner. For the tie. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Mobley's got six rebounds here tonight. Gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. 
making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. And they finished top 10 in assists. No surprise, given their emphasis on ball movement. And with that number one rank in fast break points, this was a team that played with urgency. They used their speed every chance they got. They loved to push it. Matherin against Mitchell. Oh, Mitchell just exploding to the rim. Uh, the burst and power of Mitchell on full display. This guy's incredible. Halliburton against Garland. Yep, that one's good. Turner's got 15 points. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Garland, the pass to Mitchell. Back to Garland. Three-pointer. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. At the 2023 three-point contest, Tyrese Halliburton made an impressive showing, Grant. You know, he did, B.A., but sadly he wasn't able to win the contest, but he did manage to tie the record for most points in a round, so his efficiency can't be questioned. Healed from outside. And it's MP with a rebound. And it's Garland with a ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Here's Mitchell. Matherin with a rebound. Matherin's got four rebounds in the game. Outside heel. Pass to Turner. Halliburton outside. There's a screen by Turner. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. The kick out to Walker. Walker, a screen on Garland. Halliburton for three. Cavaliers with a rebound. Outside Garland. To the inside. Matherin with a steal. Now the Pacers on the move for the tie. He nails it. And we're tied. Seven points in the game. Really impressive make right there. Great concentration from Benedict Matherin. Garland, the pass to Mobley. Pass to Mitchell. MP, a screen on Matherin. And here's MP. And they double up MP. Oh, stolen by Turner. Mitchell against Heal. Now here's Halliburton. For the lead. Yes! Tough points from Tyrese. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Pacers. Yeah, they've collected an impressive number of steals so far, using fast hands to force some turnovers and then scoring on the other end. You know, we've got to talk about how they've continued to force turnovers and turn those turnovers into points. They came out aggressive, and they've not let up. Matherin finds Turner. Outside Matherin. Turner, screen on Mobley. Here's Matherin. Again, Indiana. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Inside, will it go? And it's Mitchell laying it in. Mitchell's got 16 points now. And standing just six foot one, amazing how effective Mitchell is attacking the paint. Down low, pass to Turner. Again with the block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. No idea what they were thinking there defensively. I mean, that's a shot he makes off. Turner with it. Halliburton on the wing. Guarded by Garland. Back to Turner. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line. To sh and they're not happy with the call here. Coach has given the signal. He's going to use his challenge. Probably a good idea in such a close contest. People were worried that this was the previous play is under the every game the NBA was smart to adopt this challenge policy in 2019 you know one thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back if they're adamant that the call was wrong he'll back them up the ruling on the floor is confirmed and they've made their decision the call will stand and as much as it hurts to lose a challenge I think coach would challenge that call again if he could he really disagreed with the foul and he still peed. Jared Allen, he's checked in for Evan Mobley. 
And the Pacers also making a change. Brown, he's checked in for Halliburton. That free throw, no good. Yeah, you know, he's become a solid big man in this league. Miles Turner understands his role and is starring in it and does a really good job, I think, playing to his strengths. Screen by MP. Garland, the pass to MP. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That one on heel. <laughs> no debate there. He got hammered. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. And both free throws good for MP. You have to admire MP's obvious love for the game. This guy just wants to get out there and play hard. Brown finds Matherin. Here's Turner. Lays it up and banks it in. Turner's got 18. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. MP inside. Walker covering. They get the rebound. Walker with a steal. Pass to Matherin. To the inside. Turner. And then Turner with the dunk. Good work by Matherin getting rid of the ball when somebody has a better shot. He got to throw it his way. Matherin with a rebound. Matherin's got a rebound number five here tonight. And it's Jared Allen with the foul. That's a... A few possessions into the fourth, just over a minute play. We've got Donovan Mitchell. Max Struess is out there with MP. Then it's Jared Allen, and it's Rubio in a point guard. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavs. Looks like they're gaining some confidence here in crunch time. You can feel the sense of urgency they have to get this thing closed out as soon as possible. Neesmith passes to Brown. Top of the screen on Mitchell. Here's Neesmith. There's the triple. MP with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by MP. And the Cavaliers making a change here. But Coro's checked in. The Pacers also with a sub. Turner's checked in. And the Pacers with possession here. They played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, rejected by Allen. It's really hard to shoot over Allen, which is probably why you shouldn't try to do it. Transition basketball, the most reliable way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Turner, a screen on Rubio. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. Kick out to Brown. Goes up again, and the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Free throw good. Brown. Fourth quarter play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. MP, a screen on Brown. Mitchell, the pass to MP. And MP throws it down. Playing really strong fundamental basketball. MP rolls out of the pit, ready to shoot. Halliburton against Rubio. Turner inside. Here's Halliburton. Against resistance. Halliburton gets it to go. It's been a dominant night for him. Staying productive throughout. And MP throws it down. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. Rubio with the ball. Now guarded by Brown. Here's MP. Back to Okoro. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And they'll give that one to Miles Turner. The defense there doing whatever they can to protect the rim. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and they'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. And here's Matherin. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Pass to Turner. 
Rubio against Halliburton. Back to Turner. Outside heel. Clock at four. Now Walker launches a three. Cavaliers with a rebound. Allen's got 11 rebounds in the game. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. And their perimeter shooting numbers have been up since the start of the second half. And their lasers are starting to do their thing. I mean, that's going to be the ticket for them the rest of the way. Halliburton outside. Turner, a screen on Rubio. Pass to Turner. It's Walker on the wing. Ooh, nothing falling for them right now. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. It seems like every miss ends up in his hands. He's been unreal. Tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. Screen by MP. Rubio passes to MP. Now Allen. And Turner with the block. Man, the defense of Turner is astounding. I mean, he positioned himself well to come up with a lot of blocks. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Well, that was clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. For the Cavaliers, Evan Mobley comes in for Jared Allen. And Garland is subbed in for Rubio. Pretty easy to get excited about Benedict Matherin's potential. He's got a high motor and a terrific set of athletic skills and the ability to knock it down. Takes one from 10 feet. Shot's blocked. Garland against Halliburton. Inside, here's Walker. The rebound by MP. The Cavaliers have gotten 5 of 12 shot attempts to go so far in the fourth quarter. Here's Mitchell. Kept alive. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. Halliburton outside. Turner, a screen on Garland. Halliburton, a pass to Turner. And Turner's length causes defenses all kinds of problems. I mean, he really uses that length extremely well to draw fouls. And that one falls for Turner. And Grant, with the idea of league expansion, some have worried in the past that there's not enough talent to go around. You see that? You know, quite the contrary, B.A. I mean, the league's in a terrific place for talent, and there's definitely the depth for more teams to join the fray. Yes, it's good. You have to like the composure that MP had to get that finish inside. Time called here. Indiana decides to talk it over. And Grant, you watch Darius Garland. It often looks like he's a step ahead out there. He's got a great natural feel for the game, B.A. I mean, on the ball, he makes quick reads, and he'll create for himself and others. Off the ball, he always seems to be in the right spot and ready to fire. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Rick Carlisle's huddle. And despite the lead, they are still coaching this team hard. In the huddle, they told their guys to stay alert. Do not give them anything easy. They want to protect this late lead, B.A. Allie, thank you. From deep, Mitchell. It's rebounded by Indiana. Turner's got 14. Yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Matherin finds Halliburton. There's a screen by Turner. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. There's another block. And that's nine blocks. And you know he's going to be coming hard for that tenth one, too. Here's Heal. Just five on the clock. There's a screen by Turner. Takes a three. And it's Heal missing. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Got to be excited for MP. These are the types of moments that he lives for, and we love watching. Walker, a screen on Garland. Outside Walker. Three-pointer. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this point. 
man. Okoro passes to MP. MP is doubled. Now here's Mitchell. He's covered by Matherin. Mitchell against Matherin. Back to MP. Garland for three. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got 15 rebounds here tonight. Healed from outside. That's good. And Halliburton gets the assist. Halliburton's got assist number 11 for him here tonight. Here's MP. Ooh, excellent D there from Turner. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for the Indiana Pacers. They're leading by eight. And the foul called on MP. That's his fifth foul. Garland against Halliburton. Turner, a screen on Garland. Halliburton, the pass to Turner. MP with the block. Pass to Okoro. Out to Garland from behind the arc. Matherin with a rebound. Matherin's got six rebounds here tonight. Now here's Halliburton. Nice job by Halliburton, showing you the toughness that time, going right into that defense and drawing the foul. He drops the first one, and that'll put him up by nine. And both free throws good for Halliburton. Cleveland calls timeout. They're down by ten. We've got 113 left to play in the fourth quarter. We've got 113 left in the game. Mitchell, the pass to Mobley. Here's MP. And MP throws it down. He put a little flair on that one. Yes, he did. Man, he's a strong finisher, huh? Not when he can throw it down like that. Boom! Matherin passes to Halliburton. Mobley grabs the board. Yeah, you have to knock those down. Open shots inside the arc are rare in this league. Looking to end this cold spell. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to be on Tyrese Halliburton. And we see this night in and night out. Garland making things happen. Serious Garland. Garland hits them both. Those are big free throws. Now they need some defensive stops. On offense, here are the Pacers. Six-point game. Outside heel. Pass to Turner. Yep, that one goes. And they just continue to attack, even late in the game, while they're up big. Yeah, I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. Garland finds MP. And the layup is good. MP's got 41. Huge bucket by MP. He's a guy who wants the ball during crunch time and delivered. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. But there was no time really to be selective. Stopping the clock was the priority. And so he drops them both. And it's an eight-point ball game. Halliburton has lots of skills you love to see from a young guard. Boy, I tell you what, he's got a bright future. Love watching this young man play. From deep, Mitchell. The rebound by Turner. Garland against Halliburton. Healed on the wing. Outside Matherin. And the foul called on MP. So it's Indiana winning this one. They played the villain tonight, and they played it well. <laughs> yes, they did. And, you know, you have two choices. You can either succumb to the hostility in this arena, or you can feed off of it and use it as motivation. They did the latter. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian. Not bad, MP. You played good. I don't know about all of that. Well, that's a team game. We have a lot of nights like this. A lot? Hope not, bro. Man, just control what you can. Keep working. And the wins will come. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir.
What was going through your mind as you approached the triple-double, knowing you were about to notch the first one of your career? Um, for most of the game, I didn't really know how close I was. Um, I was just trying to help the team get the win. But towards the end of the third, I think, a couple of guys on the bench pointed it out to me. Uh, I tried to ignore it, though, because uh, I wasn't about to sacrifice winning for stat padding. I mean, I'm excited I got it, for sure. But mostly because it shows how many different ways I can impact the game and help the team. And uh, that's always my focus, to do everything I can to deliver a victory. If that means racking up stats, so be it. But the wins and losses are what's really important.